buying a cheap 3D printer is no problem these days. It's good enough for basic home printing, but what if we want to print bigger things and don't want to spend too much money? That's why today we are taking a look at the Artillery Sidewinder X2 printer, which costs just around 300 US dollars and has a really big build volume. It's actually 300 by 300 by 400 mm and that's very good in this price range. Automatic bed leveling is a standard these days. It works very well and for the final tuning, the classic knobs on the bottom of the bed are used. The bed is made of coated tempered glass, which is not very convenient and in 2023 it would be good to have a bed made of better material, but given the price of the printer it can be forgiven. The heat bed can heat up to a maximum temperature of 130 degrees Celsius very quickly. The problem can occur when taking off models. They can stick to the bed very well. A removable PEI plate would have suited the printer better, but we still have to consider the price range of the printer. The good news is that a removable PEI plate can be purchased with the printer. The cable management on this printer is interesting. This solution is very elegant and compared to the X1, Artillery learned their lesson and used more durable connectors and better power supply cable to the bed. Compared to other cheap 3D printers, the cables don't get in the way of the extruder or your joy in your new lovely blue 3D printer. With this much print volume, it's ideal to have a synchronized dual Z-axis and Sidewinder X2 has that. What is a problem when printing tall objects is a very small wobble, probably due to the simple design of the printer's frame, but it didn't affect the prints too much. This rocket looks fantastic. The Sidewinder X2 has a Titan direct drive extruder with Volcano nozzle, so it's no problem to equip the printer with a larger nozzle to speed up larger prints. The printer comes with a 0.4mm nozzle and you also get a spare. It's a pity about the lower maximum hot end temperature, it only reaches 240 degrees Celsius, but it's enough for common materials. The printer is controlled by a color touchscreen, which has a solid interface in which we find all the necessary tools. A minor criticism goes to the touch layer, sometimes it happens that it's not completely accurate, but maybe this is just problem with our unit. The motherboard is 32-bit one and the motors have silent drivers. As for data transfer, the printer has USB and a micro SD card reader. Both of these ports are placed inconveniently on the top of the printer base, which can cause them to get clogged with printer mess and dust. We would prefer to see the ports from the side. Wi-Fi connectivity would also be a welcome addition. The printer is really very quiet during printing. The printer has a filament sensor and a print recovery function. The filament holder could have been designed and mounted better. It may not be ideal when printing from larger spools and we don't have much confidence in it. The print quality is at a very good level. We tested the printing of a small rocket and a slightly larger rocket that was 40 cm in high. Overall, the Sidewinder X2 is a very solid printer at a reasonable price. You will appreciate it most if you want to print larger prints and don't want to spend too much money on a printer. We are also happy to see that Artillery has learned their lesson and its cabling is now at a very good level. If you invest a little more money and get it with the magnetic PEI plate, 
you have a very large and quite good printer that won't let you down even with large prints. If you like the printer, there is a link below the video where you can buy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe our channel.